Hi, and welcome back to Johnny Benny Campus News. I'm Melissa Brandy. And I'm Marian Delgado. Thank you for joining us today. First up this week, the annual Lango Ski Race is taking place this Sunday, January 26th at St. John's. The Lango Ski Race is hosted by both St. John's Outdoor U and the CSB SJU Nordic Ski Team. Cross-country ski racers from all around the Midwest will gather to compete in this friendly competition skiing through the hills of the Arbitorium Trails of SJU. These will be races for both classic and skate skiing techniques as well as options for short and long races. The race is free for students and registration can be found online on the Outdoor U website. Also on Sunday, Father Bob Koopman will be performing at the Music Department's faculty recital. FR Bob will be joined by FR Michael Peterson and Kyle Lamb, featuring music by various artists from Chopin and Mozart to Lindert Skinner, in their performance titled Mixing Genres, Music as in Living Art. The performance begins at 3 p.m. in the Stephen B. Humphrey Auditorium at SJU. On Thursday, January 30th, the McCarty Center is hosting a civic engagement workshop aimed at answering the question of what it means to be responsible, engaged citizens. This event is co-sponsored by the McCarty Center, XPD, ISSS, and Campus Compact. It begins at 7 p.m. in Quad 170 at SJU. This year's Eugene J. McCarty Lecture Speaker has been announced. Former President of Columbia, Juan Manuel Santos, will be giving the 13th, 13th Annual Lecture on Tuesday, February 4th at 7 p.m. in the Stephen B. Humphrey Theater at SJU. Santos was the recipient of the 2016 Nobel Prize and was named one of Times Magazine's 100 Most Influential People. He will be interviewed by Johnny Alum, Valentin Sierra. The lecture is free and open to the public. Now we go to Josh Elin with this week's sports roundup. Benny basketball was just short of a win in their last game against Concordia Moorhead. With just five seconds left, the Cobras were able to sink a layup to take a 53-52 lead and finish out the game. Junior Megan Thompson and senior Alex Johnson led the team with 10 points each, and junior Shea Olson led in the rebounding category with 6. Another road game is in the works for the Bennies when they will head to Northfield for a contest with Carlton on Saturday, January 25th at 3 p.m. Johnny Basketball has moved up to the number two spot in the nation, and they played like it in their recent game against Concordia in their previous game. In route to head coach Pat McKenzie's 100th career win, the Johnnies won 73-38. to SJU was stifling on the defensive end, only allowing the Cobras to shoot 22.2% for the game. Three Johnnies found themselves scoring double digits. Juby Alade scored 14, and Oakley Baker had 11 of his own. Senior Lucas Walford has one rebound shy of a double-double as he had 10 points and 9 rebounds. St. John's basketball will take to the road again for their next game at Carlton at 1 p.m. on Saturday, January 25th. For Benny Hockey, senior Molly Wise and junior Micah Stave each got themselves a goal, but it wasn't enough as CSB fell to number 9 Hamlin 5-2. In light of the loss, first-year goalie Ali Franzik notched a career high of 37 saves in the game. CSB returns to the rink when they host Augsburg on Friday, January 24th at 7.30 p.m. SJU Hockey had a thriller against Hamlin in their last game. Freshman Jack Johnson broke a 0-0 tie with a power play goal early in the third period. Hamlin scored the equalizing goal four minutes later to knot the game up at one apiece. That would be it for the scoring in regulation as the game ended in a 1-1 tie leading to a shootout where Hamlin was able to come out on top. Johnny Hockey will pay a visit to number 9 ranked Augsburg on Friday, January 24th at 7 p.m. before a rematch will quickly follow the next day, Saturday, January 25th at 7 p.m. The latter of the two games will be at home for SJU. CSB Track and Field opens the 2020 indoor season on Saturday, January 25th when they host the annual alumni meet and invite. SJU Wrestling will host a pair of competitions this weekend. The first on Friday, January 24th at 8 p.m. for Alumni Night against Wisconsin Eau Claire. They will then host the annual North Country Open at 9 p.m. on Saturday, January 25th. Senior football player Ben Barch will be participating in the Reese's Senior Bowl on Saturday, January 5th at 12.30 p.m. The Senior Bowl is an annual college all-star game to showcase college players across the nation to attract attention for the NFL Draft. Of the 118 roster spots, 
Bart is the only player from the Division Three level. That's all for this week's Sports Roundup. Now back to the desk. Thanks, Josh. That's all for this week. Thank you for tuning in to Johnny Benny Campus News. I'm Marian Delgado. And I'm Melissa Brandy. Have a good week in Benny's and Johnny's, and we will see you next week.